This is a podcast of the Nuffield Department of Medicine. From Mahidol University in Thailand, Professor Nick Day talks about rural populations in Thailand and the challenges they face when confronted with infectious diseases. The Mahidol Oxford Tropical Medicine Research Unit is a collaboration between University of Oxford uh, and Mahidol University funded mainly by the Wellcome Trust. Uh, it's uh, more than 30 years old now. The MOU was signed between the three uh, organisations back in 1978. The unit opened in 1979 and we've been working here and in the region ever since. The major health challenges in this region are those of the whole world really. Uh, within 2,000 miles of of Bangkok, it's a four-hour flight, you have half the world's population. You have very rich countries, such as Singapore, Hong Kong, you have densely populated countries, uh, developing fast, like India and China, and in Southeast Asia you have um, both very, very poor countries like Myanmar and Laos and Cambodia, and up-and-coming middle-income countries, particularly Thailand, uh, but also uh, Vietnam, and so you have the problems of, of tropical diseases in rural, poor, malnourished populations, but increasingly you have urbanisation, the problems associated with urbanisation and the diseases of the rich increasingly a problem. We traditionally concentrate on tropical diseases, they tend to be infectious diseases but also some nutritional deficiencies, malaria for example in particular is a, is, has been a Problem for a long time in this in this region. What are the major lines of research that have developed in the last five years? About half of what we do is malaria research, and over the past twenty-five years, we've worked on the artemisinin group of drugs. Um, these these are, are very powerful anti-malarials derived from a plant discovered as, uh, from research into Chinese traditional medicine and the unit's been sent, we've been uh, uh, very active in developing these, developing artemisinin based combination therapies and getting them accepted as the standard treatment for malaria first line throughout the world. In the last five years we've shown that uh, the intravenous form of artemisinin, artesunate, saves lives in severe malaria when compared with the traditional intravenous quinine. It's associated with about uh, a 30% reduction in mortality both in, in uh, Southeast Asian adults and also in African children. So that's a, a major finding of the last five years. Um, in the last five years as well, unfortunately, we have seen the emergence of artemisinin resistance for the first time on the Thai-Cambodian uh, border. It's probably been present for 10 or 15 years, but now it's got such a prevalence that we're now able to detect it clinically and it's beginning to cause um, a public health problem. Why does your research matter and why we should, should we put money into it? Yes, for us we only do research that uh, has a direct impact on health or is possibly going to have a direct impact on, on, on health. So we don't do blue sky research, for example, and any laboratory research we do is to support c clinical research. And uh, in general, we look at the, at the illnesses and the populations that we work with and we let the, the patients ask the questions. Mm -hmm. That's what drives our, our, our research. Um, looking further afield though, our malaria research I think is particularly important because uh, we want to try and stop, us at least to, to define, it, it provides some tools for stopping the spread of artemisinin resistant malaria parasites from Southeast Asia, where they are now, to Africa, where the great burden of malaria is, because that will then translate into a major problem for uh, malaria control. How does your research fit into translational medicine within the department? I think most of what we do is translational. Mm. In 
that increasingly we uh, don't just look to see what treatments are more effective, what diagnostics are more, have got more diagnostic utility. Um, we also look at the practical implementation of new therapies and we look at the health economics of that and we have a, a health economics team to, to look at the at whether or not it's cost effective to deploy a new treatment or vaccine or diagnostic for example. So in that way I think that what we do is, is practical and hopefully will we'll, uh, make a difference in terms of health. Are there any unique challenges to working in an overseas environment? I think there are challenges to working in any environment and uh, a lot of the challenges we face here are the same as the challenges that researchers face in um, Europe or North America. The unique challenges I think are the, 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 the wide variety of cultures that we work with, although of course this is increasingly the case in a place like Oxford um, with globalisation. We also have to do a lot of travelling because many of our study sites are quite widely dispersed. Thank you.